are fuel cell energy, flood power, American battery metals, and hydrogen sun stocks a buy and update. So we are currently looking at fuel cell energy. So this is an up update as uh, we indicated. It's currently down rather uh, its its uh, average volume is about 2 million in the pre-market of the 23rd of December 2020. Let's update this and see what it's going at right now. In the pre-market, it's currently up 8.24%. It was about 9% earlier on. So it reached a new high as at the 22nd which was yesterday it currently has a market cap of 3.4 billion and there's a news piece that is saying that it is uh, rising in, in line with um, all the ev stocks and uh, the fact that apple is also talking about uh, producing or going into uh, uh, ev electric vehicles in by probably 2024 it's either electric vehicles or batteries or something like that you know so it's rising in line with all of this things and yesterday was also doing the same so technically fuel cell appears to be in a strong bullish trend it's 200 midday moving average is support sloping and the MACD histogram is above zero comparatively com comparative relative trends, trends analysis shows that this issue is outperforming the S&P 500 Momentum for fuel cell is strongly bullish. The 14 period slow stochastic uh, oscillator is above 80, the, the level which many analysts call overbought. This means that investors are presently more active than sellers or actively purchasing shares and driving the prices higher. So it's just slightly up in the overbought territory. And the momentum is uh, just trying to climb up again. Uh, from where it was around 304 uh, percent uh, sometime in um, this earlier this month earlier this month uh, or rather, rather yes late in November uh, the volume uh, the unbalanced volume indicator is bullish the stop of indicator is positive and suggests that uh, buyers are presently more active than sellers the definitely uh, volatility is uh, quite high uh, an event such as this may precede a pause or reversal in the near term trend. So, what do I think this is? Going by the price of a uh, fuel cell, yes, it's. Uh, I always advocate a pullback, but um, it has pulled back and even consolidated somewhat for some time. You know, and uh, since that time, it has continued to. It has uh, just um, left the station. That train has left the station. So I, I believe, you know, based on what's going on now, just, you know, hold on and um, don't, buy the, don't buy the highs, buy the deep, buy the deeps. The deeps will always, uh, uh, when, it, when, it, when, it, when buying the deep is what you and indeed others do. And the consequence of that is that it even propels it even further. And you can even see it has a short interest of 10.8%. It could even be more. Uh, because uh, a lot of there's a lot of skepticism towards uh, this it's growing towards uh, fuel cell so i would just say hold on buy the dip we can evidently see that it does pull back especially in the very short term it does pull back it has pulled back twice twice uh, beyond the 10 day moving average since the, since this month so i would say just hold on and be patient if it pull, pulls back then you buy and this is also amongst other things the fact the, the, the fact that the price is now getting high it's now in double digits so it's you know uh, uh, it's now more getting more expensive and much more risky to um, 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 invest a lot of money in it as against uh, some other penny stocks that we might cover in this video so the next issue we're going to look at is power okay so plug power it it also reached a new 52 week high yesterday so market cap is 15.8 billion so it's according to certain analysts fuel cell has also drawn its 
strength from uh, power in the past uh, weeks. So, but it is a bigger company and um, uh, rather more capitalized as well. You know, they held they hold it better. They hold it in a better regard than few sell. But uh, few sell, you know, does seem to present um, a better uh, opportunity to join the fuel cell uh, drive, especially the uh, hydrogen fuel cell drive. So, so it also has a, f a short interest of fifteen point zero three percent. Four hundred forty two million shares are outstanding. So technically, Plot Power appears to be in a strong bullish trend. Its 200-day moving average is upward sloping, and the MACD histogram is above zero. Comparative relative trends analysis shows that the issue is outperforming the S&P 500 index. Momentum for Plot Power is strongly bullish. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is above 80, the level which many analysts call overbought. Yes, you can see it's, uh, it's in the overbought territory. So, but the momentum here, this is uh, th this is a price rate of change, uh, and, and the momentum is of a lower order. So they all they are both related. It's currently it currently stands at forty eight point three. Okay. So and it it indicates that uh, investors are actively buying shares and driving the price higher. No doubt about that. And that is the fundamental thing. That is what really matters. Yeah, because um, in as much as you may have you may have your 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 opinion and your your your, your skepticism, the important thing is that people are is the important thing is, is what what are people doing with their money towards that equity. So the volume, the unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. The slope of the indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. The Bollinger Bands are presently wider than usual as a result of greater than normal volatility that accompanied recent price move. Events such as this may, pour, may, may uh, lead to a pause or reversal in the near term trend. So you can see um, it does actually pull back. So uh, the, uh, of late, it does, it did pull back below uh, the uh, 10 day trend line. But the 20 day has been a source of support of late since uh, this month. In the past, earlier on uh, in the year, about uh, two or three months ago, it was actually the 50 day trend line that was uh, a source of support. It was also the case again back in the back in September as well, almost uh, a month uh, b before that, and even close. I would, would even say that as well, sometime in uh, July as well. So. It's an interesting play here, so but obviously it is uh, rising, rising and rising. It's also up in the pre-market. Let's uh, find out. Sorry about that. Okay, it's up three point six one percent. So given given the rally that is going on in the pre-market, it may may even be more. Uh, when the market uh, opens up for everybody, it might even go up for that. So I wouldn't say that uh, power is a buy as of now. You know, I would say yes. You know, like always, you know, wait for it to pull back and give you an opportunity to uh, come in, um, unless you are really confident that um, there isn't any time to waste that you're gonna jump in. But I would say, you know, um, just hold on before you jump in. But in these, or indeed, all of these stocks are, you know, stocks of the uh, near, near future. Yes, they are. So, but um, at the same time, yeah, I wouldn't say jump in now that it is red hot. You know, we can evidently see that it does pull back, and uh, it will do so again. We also have uh, it has, you know, a healthy amount of uh, skepticism, and there's a good chance that people will, uh, the market participants who shot them, will continue to do so when it rallies and it feels a. It feels that cycle, and uh, when it dips, if they are shutting and if they they are responsible for the for the for the deep, uh, um, modern market participants who are waiting for the deep will you know join in, and you know the, the fuel keeps going up and up and up and up, you know, because everybody is waiting for this deep, and uh, you know, and uh, they they even willing to commit yet more funds, even funds that were already in the stock. They probably uh, some of them might uh, sell at some point, 
and wait for another dip. So and then uh, if you add that with uh, that of the the short sellers and that of uh, new entrants, you know, it, that's how it goes. So the next one will be a American battery metals. We hope it's going to come up. Yes. So American battery metals, it's is issuing um, some shares about um, and it's passing them at uh, zero point two dollars and it's currently trading at um, a BML. It hasn't reached the price. You can see it's currently up eleven point three six percent. So it's not even close to the uh, is it American Battery Metals? I think. I believe it's American Battery Metals. Yesterday, it uh, issued an S one. It disclosed an F one S one disclosure with the SEC. That's right, yes, that's American Battery Metals. Okay, so proposed aggregate price is uh, 0 0.21. Okay, so we got that wrong. So we, um, it's proposed 10.5 million shares. No, sorry, it's just, it's proposing to raise 10.5 million dollars, and it's uh, it registered 50 million shares. So, but uh, that is one of the uh, news that is that was out yesterday, and it was up about 60 percent or thereabout. So we don't have any short interest on this. You know, probably because it's um, a nobody counter stock, so it doesn't enough coverage of it. So let's see whether we can digest what is there for, technically for it. So American battery metals are, appears to be in a strong bullish trend. Its 200 day moving average is upward sloping and the MACD histogram is above zero and rising. Comparative relative strength analysis shows this issue is a performing the S&P 500 index. Momentum for American battery metals is bullish. You can see that's momentum here. This is a uh, price rate of change. It's a higher order of the momentum. So you can see it's at 484.1%. 400, and you can see here that uh, it's right up there in overbought territory. So the unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. The slope of the indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. Volatility must be high, but linker bands are presently wider than usual as a result of greater than normal volatility that accompanied the recent price move. Events such as this may precede a pause or reversal. So given what is going on now, the 60% rally it had yesterday on the 22nd, I'm, if, I'm tempted to say, since it's not that expensive, it's just about $1.20, you can just commit uh, $100 and don't mind if, it's, if, 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 you, if you lose it or not, just to test um, and, you know, but I would say as, as well, you can always hold on, you can see this, you know, huge spike, it's, you know, I'm sure, yes, it's, you know, there's a fear of missing out, but you know, um, I wouldn't say yes. Jump in now. That's gonna even deliver yet another sixty percent. You know, I mean, the next trading, the next food trading session. But I would just say, just be cautious. Just be cautious. You know, um, when we open this position, we just have about thirty-nine of them. You know, it was far less than this. So, but um, if you really want to, you know, put you commit your money that you know, given that it's only trading at one dollar and some fraction do so but i would say you know just hold on you know that money can go way way you know further than that you know just wait for it, 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 pull, it pull back wait, wait for it to pull, you know cool down a bit so the next one is the hydrogen sun
okay it's currently down 0. Point, uh, or rather is it up okay it's down 0. 0.23 percent in the in the free market so we also have a position in there as well about 300 still 370 units so the market cap is a 211 Point one million dollars, two point four two six billion shares are outstanding. Hydrogen Sun appears to be correcting within a longer term bullish trend. Let's have a look. Okay, yes, okay, that is uh, giving um, that correction. It's no longer the case. It's uh, it's. Uh, it's no more correct and it's trying to um, retrace although it is although it's MACD is presently below the signal line shares remain 221.1 percent above its sloping upward sloping 200 day moving average comparative comparative related strength analysis shows that this issue is outperforming the S&P 500 index momentum from high for hydrogen sun is strongly bullish the 14 period slow stochastic oscillators rising as investors pay high prices for shares. The unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. The slope of the indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. So the unbalance, uh, the momentum is strongly bullish. Okay. So momentum, you know, this doesn't uh, exactly measure it. But uh, what we can see here that the price rate of change is only 35.9%. So definitely, uh, moment uh, volatility are presently the Bollinger bands are presently wider than usual as a result of greater than normal volatility that accompanied recent price move. Events such as this may lead to a pulse or reversal in the near near term trend. So, um, just like American batteries, you know, if you feel that. Um, it's not going to cost you a lot. You can just you know, put a small amount of money and see how it goes. Exactly what we did, and if we lose it, uh, it's not going to cost uh, an arm and a, and a leg. It's not going to cost the world. And just you know, put it in there and uh, see how it goes. So, um, for all of these stocks, I would say that all of them are in the long term buys. But you know, you don't. I wouldn't recommend that you buy them, especially um, uh, pluck power and uh, fuel cell right right now that they are you know still very hot that you jump in and buy them you know just observe the market you can even do a short term um, min, uh, minutes five minute to five minute uh, um, uh, time frames to uh, uh, see whether you you, you can take advantage of uh, the the, 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 the changes that occur within uh, those time frames you know when sometimes they might pull back below certain uh, some of those uh, trend lines and um, you know that's you know just in case you you really want to uh, jump in regardless of whether it's getting hot or not but as it is now they are really uh, blowing up especially the uh, especially for your cell and uh, plot power i wouldn't say that um, they are buys now they, you know they in, in future yes they are buys but you know right now that they are you know trending and uh, a lot of money is going in i wouldn't say you should buy the high okay so if you're new to this channel subscribe like and share if you're already a subscriber thank you very much for watching